And I did not speak out when they came for the disabled people, for I was not disabled, and they were not coming for me. And then I did not speak out when they came for the homosexual, for I was not homosexual, and they were not coming for me. I then did not speak out when they came for the Jews, for I was not Jewish, and they did not come for me. Now who will speak out when they come for me? Yesterday, Alex Jones and InfoWars was systematically wiped off of their internet presence through YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook in a conspiratorial method to try to silence their show. Now, I'm not a huge supporter of the Alex Jones show, and I'm not a huge supporter of most of the InfoWars stuff. I think a lot of it is very extreme and hyperbolic. And I think a lot of it is poorly presented in such a way that it creates intentional conflict and controversy. That being said, he should not be banned. He should still be speaking. And as of right now, the uh, InfoWars application is getting more downloads through the Google Play Store than any other news application on the market right this minute. And as such, I think that InfoWars will get to continue. But I don't think it will be in the current state it is in. And I know for a fact that while I might not be the biggest fan of InfoWars, I definitely support them speaking, just like all of these other fine content creators who have spoken out as well. And I will make sure that I upload this video as soon as I am done. And I hope that uh, everyone supporting InfoWars will agree with me on this. We need to push to allow Alex Jones back on these prop- on these uh, products. And we need to push to end internet censorship in its entirety. Now that being said, I'm not calling for the publicization of these applications. I'm calling for antitrust action against them. I'm calling for them to be broken up. Because YouTube being part of Google is too much. Facebook, owning all of the advertising firms that advertise through Facebook and controlling all that information in such a way, is too much. It's just like Standard Oil at this point, or Ma Bell. They need to be broken up. And until we break them up, they will have this kind of draconian power. So the only way to truly break this kind of draconian power is to force a breakup of products like Alphabet and Facebook and make them actually separate it out in such a fashion that they cannot collude to do this and that any collusion of this nature gets treated like price fixing for the big oil companies did in the 1980s because this should not be happening. This is un-American authoritarian and evil taking away the right of somebody to speak freely in this fashion is just evil it really is especially when they are drawing more eyes than you are with their message that's attempting to silence your detractors which means that your argument is not good at all it means that you have basically lost and you're admitting you've lost and the fact that you're then having to result to silencing them shows that you are a poor redit- uh, poor speaker and a poor logistician in your arguments. That doesn't make your arguments any better when they quit speaking. It just means that they've gone underground and now you don't know where they are. So, let's free Alex Jones, let's free InfoWars, and let them back to speak publicly. Because until we do, we won't have actual freedom back on the net. Thank you all again for joining me. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm also going to be producing a free InfoWars t-shirt that will be available on Teespring and Redbubble. The link's down below. And I think I might also do a free Alex Jones t-shirt. Please don't forget to help contribute to my channel so that I can continue doing this. And uh, don't forget that I'm also on some of the alternative tech sites such as BitChute, Gab, and uh, Coffee. So that, as well as Minds.com, come join me on those alternative sites where I won't be silenced should YouTube decide to come for me next. Thank you all, and have a great day.